morning everybody welcome back to HBI Auto my name is Kendall for those that don't know me we are starting this video off in a 2012 Audi R8 this is a V8 automatic I'm really excited to take this one out for you guys today I've always considered the R8 one of the best multifunctional sports cars slash supercars out there it's got great comfort for daily driving rallies and whatnot but it also has a very good power plant for more power it also has a V10 option from the factory so both engines V8 or V10 both have benefits both have downfalls but today we're gonna take out the v8 and show you guys what this is all about so let's go ahead and get started it's not too bad for a what did i say this is 2012 yeah for being a 10 year old car it's not too bad and especially once you get to the higher end higher end speeds and um Shifting gets a lot more aggressive, it gets a lot more predominant like a V8 would be. Um, so I definitely noticed that while I'm driving, especially we took the black gated manual R8 out the other day and getting it up to speed, once you're once you're up to speed, it can becomes a really fun drive. Even just with the V8, not too bad. Comfort wise, not too bad. I've got fully adjustable seats in here, which is a really huge plus for me in my book because I want to be comfortable while I'm driving. The steering wheel feels really nice. It's a little bit thinner around the exterior side of it, which I kind of like. Um, I've always liked smaller steering wheels. That's just a personal preference. Space wise, I've got tons of headroom, tons of good visibility, which is what I like. Now compared to an Uricon or a Gallardo, I don't have that visibility. is herking and jerking back and forth uh, mostly because of that single clutch transmission a single automated clutch transmission it's really really tough um, it's not tough it's just like it's a very like manual feel uh, if you've ever driven a manual car you know like it's not the smoothest ride out there but it is an enjoyable ride so handling wise is that this does feel really planted obviously you can up your wheel size your tire size and whatnot you can get a lot more grip and power out of it let me get up to speed here you can see my head is moving back and forth a lot and i'm not doing that on purpose i'm literally doing it like that's just how the single clutch acts so looking at the inside of this 2012 R8, you've got a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel. You've got a really nice heads up display right here. Never mind the TPMS sensor, it's been wonky for a little bit now, but you've got a really nice steering wheel, like I said. You've got just a really nice approach. It reminds me again a lot of a Lamborghini Gallardo, which they are technically siblings. Moving into the center console area, you've got a really nice Audi navigation system right here. You've got all your button controls right here. You've got your AC controls down here. And then you've got, of course, your gear selector right here. You've got your e-brake right here. And then just overall looking at the dash area, it's leather wrapped, it's really nice. It's simple, it's clean. It's one of my favorite interiors um, from Audi. Cup holders right here, which are really nice. Big fan of cup holders. You could technically, technically have three cup holders, but uh, I just love Love a good cup holder, that's one of my favorite things. You've got a nice little storage compartment right here in between the seats. A plug-in right there for a system. Seats are really comfortable, they are really sporty, and it's something that I've always appreciated about the Audi R8. It's very comfortable to drive and ride in. These are fully adjustable seats, by the way, so it's, again, a really nice plus. And they are heated seats for the winter, uh, so it's really nice. With the R8 platform, you get a lot of versatility in this car. I've got plenty of headroom compared to a Lamborghini Gallardo. I also have just room to move around, and I feel like if I wanted to, I could really take this car on some long distance drives say to the beach to the mountains whatever it may be i don't know i've always had a very soft spot for the r8 platform i know they get a lot of flack because they aren't because of the v8 like if you have a v8 system it's not good it's not great you know if you're gonna buy an r8 why not buy the v10 that it offers especially the v10 plus um and personally you have to think about it like if you are going to daily drive this car and this is going to be your one car that you have in your garage i would really look into the v8 platform because you still get a very nice you can get a good sound out of it you can get something that does sound quote unquote american out of it um but you can also twin turbo these cars you can add more performance to the car and it can handle that which is a really big plus about the engine in these cars looking at the interior from the exterior really nice full black on black with the small hint of the chrome all around it very clean it's one of my favorite interiors like i've said it's just sporty it feels good and it's just comfortable to be in looking at the exterior you do have a full white exterior with the 
carbon fiber side pieces right there. You've got silver wheels and you've got a black front facing grille. This is a very classic design. If you ever watched Iron Man, you know that this is the car that Tony Stark was driving. So it's become a very iconic car over the years just for its Hollywood debut. And a lot of, you know, superstars find themselves driving this thing. Yeah, you've got really nice carbon fiber right here, which is, uh, which I believe is an add-on from the factory. You do have a little bit more carbon fiber right here at the door sill with the R8 badging, which is really nice touch. Looking at the back, you do have a dual quad-tipped exhaust on the back, which is really nice. Again, with a aftermarket exhaust, you can really open up that V8 engine and really let it sing. But just overall, it's a pretty small car. It's a pretty compact car. And I think that's where a lot of people turn away from it because they want these big supercars. They want something big. Now, opening up the engine hatch, you do have that powerful V8 engine in there, like I've mentioned a thousand times. Very simple. It's pretty compact. Again, it looks exactly like it's sibling the Lamborghini Gallardo and the Lamborghini Huracan. I think overall, I'm a pretty big personal fan of the Audi R8 platform. I think there's just tons of, there's tons of potential for this car and it has a, and it also has a really good amount of power for those, again, who are, are looking to get into a sports car, get into something fun that's fast, but can also get good cast mileage on those daily commutes. Now the V8 paired with a manual transmission, like our 2014 one that we have, that is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to drive because you've got that classic V8 feel with a gated shifter in there. I don't think there's any other experience that can top that, especially for the price point. Now this car is available on our website. I've gone ahead and linked the car in the description below. So if you're curious to check out more photos or get in contact with our team about picking up this beautiful R8 today. So this is the Odelphi headlamp. We got sent these a couple of days ago and we've been testing them out, out around the shop. We got sent two. Dan has had one stuck to his head ever since I first brought it to him. And he's been using it all around the shop, even at home for projects. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of snippet of what he said about the Odelphi headlamp. So go ahead and check it out. Oh, it's not even on. There you go. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. Reason being number one, I can do this and my light don't move. That's my favorite part. It's so bright on camera. I bet it is. <laughs> Hold on, let me dim it down. There you go. So you can dim it down and then even still, you know, my light don't go away. I can be over here. And you can use both hands. And I got two hands and it's not in the way. Yeah. And then just in case you really wanted it, I mean, you could use that one. There you go. But the that's, spotlight. That's the normal, the normal version that I don't really like. So that's why I like this version. Yeah. Because now, no matter where I'm looking, I got light. Nice. I don't have to turn my head. So that's why I like it. <laughs> so Dan's been using it the past couple of days. He really likes it so much that we're I getting... Want, yeah, we want some more. We want to get some more, so... So, we dig it. I did under the dash earlier. I'm under the car today. I was doing wiring over here today. So it seems to work pretty good. Perfect. Right. Evan's going to get one. <laughs> if you're a mechanic or tech, you know that brand. Yeah, this, but that goes around your neck. Yeah, it's a neck one. I mean, I like it a lot, but it's spotlight. Yeah. That's, that's always my problem. I even bought some of the little band ones, but they stick out this far. And I'll hit it because obviously these things got tight. Yeah. Perfect. So like he said, this is a full LED strip. You've got you've got 300 plus lumens right here. You've got a really powerful spotlight right here. And you do have that wave function, which comes in handy. You do have full, you've got 50%. You've got a spotlight and then you've got half spotlight. So you've got a ton of options for the kind of work that you're going to be doing. If you're detailing the car or you're working underneath the car and you need better visibility without sacrificing holding one of your hands with a flashlight, other annoying uh, types of lamps. As you guys saw, Dan showed us the one that goes around your neck. And then there's also one that goes, but it has a little bit of a, like a protruding bulb or whatever right there. And that can be really annoying because you're knocking into things. It's just loose around your neck and it's just not ideal for a working environment. If you're really active with your hands and you're working working really hard. I highly recommend the Odelphi headlamp for every shop, every tech, everyone who's working on their car. It's a great product. It doesn't get too hot and it's really comfortable. And I have no complaints about this headlamp. If you're interested about the Odelphi headlamp, I've left the link in the description below so you can check out their products and get yourself a couple of these for the shop. Thank you so much to Odelphi for sending these out and let's get back to it. The next car we're gonna be taking out is a 2013 911 Carrera S. This is an X51 package from the factory. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to teach you all about it because I just learned it and Jose told Jose just told me about it, so I just learned it and I'm gonna relay it to you guys. It's an incredible option from the factory that gives you more power, acts a lot like a GTS, feels like a Turbo 911, but the responsiveness between a regular Carrera S and one with a X51 package is undeniably different. 
Now looking at the exterior, like I mentioned thousands of times before, this is a X51 package. So on, and it has the arrow kit, which is a combination you don't quite see often according to Jose, our general manager. It's something that's pretty rare on its own. So it's a unique look, especially with the white, with the clear tails, and then you've got those really nice black wheels. You've got a really nice arrow lip right there. Overall, it's a clean looking car, very nice for a cabriolet. It's something that I've grown to love over the past couple of days we've had it. So again, this is what the exterior is looking like. This is the interior looking from the outside. It's very, very nice. It's clean, well-maintained. The one thing about summer, I don't know how many people know this or past art class or whatnot, but black absorbs heat if you didn't know that. So if you have a black interior car, it will get really hot. That's why I recommend window tint for your car. We can provide window tint. We can also ceramic coat the interior so you can have a really nice, healthy appearance on the inside of your car. So with the X51 package, you've got, you get cast aluminum GT3 intake manifold. You get larger headers, different camshafts, you get modified cylinder heads, you get a third radiator, and you get a reprogrammed DME. And you also get 25 more horsepower compared to a normal Carrera S, which is a huge difference. It might not seem like a lot, but there is definitely a difference, especially when you are getting on the throttle, you're going around sharp turns, and you're on the track. You can feel that difference, especially paired with the upgrade throttle response that you get with the X51 package. It's a really good combination and it's something that a lot of people don't really realize. Zero to 120 mile per hour time, it's reduced by one whole second, which is a pretty fast zero to 120. Uh, with the Aero kit, it makes it a really unique combination and it's a cabriolet, so it's a really nice car for the summer. If you're looking for that sort of thing, it's got heated and cooled seats, which is really nice, especially right now I'm using the cooled seats. It's a good plus. I would seriously consider the X51 package. Now knowing about it, I, if I were to spec a car from the factory back in the day I would have added on the X51 package it just gives the it pretty much essentially makes this car a GTS without spending that GTS kind of money thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about the cars that you saw or the cars that you saw in the background please let us know in the comments below we'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time